Good morning. Welcome to Daily Impact. I am Yemi Grisman Adoloju, lead pastor, Lighthouse International Christian Center, Salmon that you are enrolled in Ibadan, Nigeria. This morning, I'd like us to take a test for discussion from two passages of the Bible. John chapter 15, verse 16, reading from the New King James Version. The Bible says, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, that you should go and bear fruit, that you should go and bear fruit, emphasis mine, and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father, that whatever the, you ask the Father in my name, in my name, he may give it to you, in my name, emphasis mine. James chapter 1 from verse 5 to verse number 8. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. Three keys or things are central to answered prayers. These things are worthy of our note and attention. Number one is before you ask in prayers, from the passage of scripture that we read in John chapter 15, verse 16, bear fruit. Fruit bearing is central to answered prayers. Bearing fruit is a condition precedent to, not consequent upon answered prayers. It is when you are bearing fruit that you can ask the Father for whatever and not be denied. No good parent refuses a fruitful and productive child. Secondly, how you ask. Ask in faith. Ask in faith. Never waver or doubt. The word of God is unequivocal about the man who wavers or doubts. Let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. What then is faith? It is the confident assurance that God is able to do it and that he will do it. But if he does not do it, he is still God. Let me take that again. Faith is the confident assurance that God is able to do it and he will do it. But if he does not do it, he is still God. God. How you ask? Ask in faith. Number three, when you ask. When you ask, ask the Father in the name of Jesus. Ask the Father in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is the key that unlocks the door of heaven. Ask in the name of Jesus, not in the name of any prophet or angel. And that is why the scripture tells us in Hebrews chapter 1, from verse 1 to verse 4, that God, who at Sunday times and in diverse manners spake in the time past unto the fathers, hath in this last day spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made all the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels, being made so much better than the angels, as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. Jesus is better than the angels. He has obtained by inheritance a more excellent name than they. So ask in the name of Jesus. Ask in faith and bear fruits before you ask. 
Go and bear fruit and you will see your prayers answered even without asking. You see your desires granted. You did not choose Christ. He chose you that you should go and bear fruit. Go and bear fruit and your prayers shall be answered. Let us pray. I pray your life and destiny be fruitful and productive in the name of Jesus. That you will be stable, unmovable, and always abounding in all good works. That every door closed against your life and destiny be opened now. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Till I come your way again for another edition of our program, Daily Impact. I am Yemi Graceman Adulogu saying, Go out today and bear fruits. The Lord bless.